Hello and good morning my fellow YouTubers, Bruce Lee John Fan 13 back again. So I uh, this is my what are we on September update. So I've got a few Blu-rays this time. I know I'm sort of like leaving it longer between updates, but I just think it's better uh, just to sort of like get them all in first and then uh, you know show all the ones that I've gotten in between sort of like working and whatever. So um hope you're all doing well and uh, this is what I've got this time a few uh, DVDs not too many but a, f a few uh, good blu-rays uh, some that I've been meaning to pick up for quite a long time so uh, I'll crack straight on with it I don't want it to sort of drag on and stuff so the first one sort of a guilty pleasure I suppose um, Jason X or Jason 10 Friday the 13th 10 whatever you know, um, you know, a lot of people slate it, and it's you know, it does look sort of, you know, it's not as half as good as any of the others, but I do have a bit of a soft spot for it. You know, I like where it becomes like Uber Jason, and uh, you know, it's, I think it's good fun to watch. You know, it's not to to be taken too seriously, but um, yeah, I mean, because what what happened in cash converters? They do like seven DVDs for like five pound. So um, basically I had to sort of make up the numbers with a couple of ones that I'm not too fussed about but I wanted to sort of make advantage of uh, like the offer so Jason was the first one. Uh, next up is Gothica, uh, never seen it so uh, I don't know too much about it but uh, I thought you know Harry Berry's quite fit so uh, I'll have a, a quick look at that one. Next the others so it's one that you know I do like it's okay for a bit of a spooky Sunday afternoon you know when you're struggling for one or two things to watch or whatever so uh, you know the others it's not too bad next is Flatliners uh, so I really do like this one I was gonna get it on blu-ray but seeing as I was in uh, you know cash converters I thought it's all right for you know uh, like a quid and stuff uh, I do like that one, really nicely made and uh, you know some of you know my favourite actors in there. I do like Kiefer Sutherland you know. And the next one is uh, Wes Craven's Presents Mind Ripper. So Lance Henriksen and um, one or two others on Anchor Bay as well. So I do like collecting some Anchor Bays. Uh, and again you know don't know much about this one so I haven't watched it yet. But, uh, you know, I've heard one or two good things about it, so it should be interesting. And uh, what this one, I've been meaning to get a hold of for a while, uh, Amityville 2. It is my favourite one out of uh, all the Amityville series, really, uh, just because I do like the possession, uh, possession aspect of it. You know, um, you know, obviously it's got poorly from the Rocky movies, and, uh, you know, I do actually really like this one. And it's uh, like a limited edition thing as well. I mean, you get a little, like, sort of quite a good little booklet and stuff, which uh, you don't usually get in pawn shops. Usually, you know, the inserts missing and stuff. But uh, glad to have uh, Amityville too. So, on to the Blu rays then now. And uh, like I say, there's a couple in here that I've been meaning to get for a good while. But, uh, uh, first one is uh, non-horror, the only non-horror that I'm going to show is uh, Ip Man 2. So I heard that this had gone, uh, oop, I don't actually have Ip Man 1, I've seen them both a few times and uh, as you know I do like uh, Bruce Lee, it goes on, you know, and Donnie Yen is amazing I think. He's really good in this, I want to check some more of his movies out. But uh, great action, uh, really nicely staged and stuff and good story. <clears throat> so the next one, um, Red Dragon. So uh, as you might remember from my last like, update collection thing, I uh, brought uh, Hannibal. So I'm only missing Silence of the Lambs now. And I think someone was on about Manhunter as well, but I'm not so familiar with that one. It's supposed to be the prequel, but I thought this was the prequel. So I could be wrong, but um, at the end, you know, right at the end, it says, you know, it says to Hannibal, I've got a girl, a woman here to see you, FBI. So I was thought straight away, um, you know, 
Norwegian style in Jodie Foster, uh, which would take all the way back round to Silence of the Lambs. So, I'm not sure, but uh, good movie. I enjoyed it more than Hannibal, actually. And uh, yeah, pretty good one. Uh, next one, uh, I did really like. Um, just come across, I heard a couple of people talking about it, and uh, I thought this was brilliant. The loved ones, uh, Australian movie, um, nicely acted, and uh, you know the gore is good. You know it's a uh, mad story. You know, a uh, guy turns a girl down to go to like a prom, and uh, basically she's a complete psycho. Uh, kidnaps him and the dad's involved and they do all sorts of weird and torture things to him and uh, you know you're really rooting for him towards the end you know it's uh, a really good one I definitely recommend that if uh, you know you haven't seen it uh, next one I was quite happy to get and that is the house by the cemetery on uh, my favorite label arrow so obviously you get like your you know, all your bits and bobs, your DVD, your Blu-ray, uh, poster and booklet and all that kind of stuff, you know. I only saw this not long ago, actually, and um, on the Horror Channel. And got to say, you know, I'd, uh, I really enjoyed it. You know, I did like it, actually. And uh, so I thought, it was only like just over a fiver on eBay. Um, not brand new, but like new. So it's nothing at all. No damage, nothing, you know. So... You know, I was happy to get that one. Another arrow to add to the collection. Mm, good movie. Uh, next one, uh, La Fiancée de Chucky. It's uh, obviously the French import of Bride of Chucky. It's uh, quite hard to get hold of over here. Um, but it um, did surprise me, actually. Uh, picture uh, quality, really, really good. You know, very detailed. So really, really nice to watch and it is one of me uh, you know I like the first Chucky I like this one I'm looking forward to Curse of Chucky well I like them all in their own way but uh, glad to get this one and the box set is coming out shortly as well so uh, keep an eye out for that one and the next one is Grotesque so uh, this was the only one on eBay actually um, I know uh, you know a couple of people had said to me to sort of check it out you know, if you like hostels, saw um, exploitation movies and stuff like that. And uh, they were saying to me, like, it's some real sick shit, you know what I mean? Uh, so me and the missus watched it yesterday. And i uh, got to say, you know, there is some shock value there. It's, uh, you know, the gore is well done. The acting's good. You know, not a very long movie, only an hour and ten. But, uh, you know, it was a pretty good watch, you know. It didn't shock me, you know. And, uh, you know, I think if... To a normal movie watcher, I suppose it would be probably quite shocking. Um, but, uh, you know, I, there's something about it I found quite enjoyable. It's, uh, you know, the story is quite vague. You know, there's a couple, uh, two people on a date and uh, get kidnapped by a mad sort of surgeon doctor. And he uh, sort of pushes them to see how far each of them will go in pain. And, uh, you know, there's some... Uh, Pretty good bits in there, you know, really good. I'd, I'd recommend if uh, you're a gore hound. Uh, next, these last two are the ones I've been meaning to get for <coughs> quite a while. So I've seen a couple of people get it in my bloody, bloody Valentine, the original, in 1981, with a few good special features uh, Bloodlust, My ba Bloody Valentine, and The Rise of the Slash film, which I'm looking forward to watching. Uh, we did watch it. Uh, the, the movie and uh, yeah I enjoyed it a lot more than the remake you can tell because this is the full on cut uh, extended version you can tell where they put bits in you know where um, grain comes into play and bits and bobs but I mean it's watchable it's clean it's fine you know I'd uh, recommend it it's actually gone out of print so um, I'd lucky to get my hands on this one for I think £13 or 14 one of them so uh, glad to get that and the last one is The Prowler. So, <coughs> uh, not actually watched this one yet. Gonna watch it tonight. Um, read up about it a bit. You know, with Tom Savini on special effects. Uh, supposed to be, you know, it's an ex-army guy. Come back for some sort of revenge, slasher, whatever. 
you know, but uh, looking forward to it. I know it's my first Blue Underground purchase as well, so I heard really good things about Blue Underground. I know they do a good job. So, uh, yeah, that's the Prowler. Looking forward to that one. And uh, <coughs> quite hard to get as well. So, uh, glad to add these ones to the collection. So, quite a good haul this time. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, keep you updated on my next ones. Um, not sure what I'm going to get now. I've got a couple of ideas. But uh, I think I'm going to go out next week and have a look on the market stalls and stuff like that. You know, I want to make a couple of um, response videos as well to like one or two of you. I know, um, I can't remember what his name is now, Philly and um, Lola's Basement and one or two other ones. Uh, still enjoying all your videos even though I'm not making very many. So um, keep up the good work and uh, I'll see you next time.